Welcome back guys, in this part we are going to explore registering external domain with EC2 using route 53. To access EC2 instance from a domain, we have to link EC2 with the domain. For linking both the domains and EC2, we have to use route 53 service of AWS. So let's start linking. First configuring nginx for the domain. If you have removed the remote connection, take the remote connection of your EC2 instance and activate your virtual environment. As we have configured our EC2 instance IP with our Nginx server, we have to change that to the domain. So let's open Nginx folder. Now you will see there will be two files default and django.conf. Edit django.conf file on nano. In configuration file of django, remove the server name and change it to your domain name dot domain extension. Now test the configuration and restart the configuration. Next step, getting the public IP of EC2. From the services, click on the EC2 and then click on the instances. Now you will find the list of instances you have. Copy the IPv4 public IP of your instance and keep it somewhere. We will use that IP. Next creating a route 53. From the service list, select route 53. It will take you to serve route 53 dashboard. There you will see the number of hosted zones. Click on the hosted zones. If you have no hosted zones, create hosted zones by clicking on create hosted zones. Then it will ask you for the domain name. Give your domain name and click on create. You will see there will be two records created automatically. Now give the name as www and in the value place paste the IP you have copied for your EC2 instance and click on create. Similarly create another record set and leave the name as blank make it alias as yes and in value write your domain name with www example www.yourdomainname.com Finally click on create button to create the record set. We have done with configuring route 53. Now we have to make our domain name providers. Uh, in my case I am taking GoDaddy. So we have to configure GoDaddy with route 53. After configuring the route 53 we have to link route 53 with the domain. So we have to copy the name servers to the DNS of our domain manager in my case. Next step configuring the route 53 with domain DNS that is GoDaddy in my case. After configuring route 53 we have to link the route 53 with the domain name providers. So we have to copy the name servers from the route 53 and paste it in our DNS section of our domain name providers. In my case, I am using GoDaddy. If you are using any other domain, don't worry. Go through the DNS management of your domain and update the name servers there. First, log into GoDaddy and go to your domains. Then go to DNS setting. From your domain, first, Log into GoDaddy and go to your domains. Then go to DNS setting of your domain from the domain list. There, scroll to the button. You will find name servers. Click on change and one by one paste all the four name servers records from route 53 to GoDaddy non-server. A 
Remember, delete the last dot from the name servers. Now you are all done. Just refresh your domain and you will find your site like there. It may take some time to update the DNS. Thank you for watching this video. Tell me how this video is helping you on the comment section. If you find this video is helpful, then give a like and subscribe to this channel so that next time a new video come you will get notified keep smiling